Colin it's me Knife here and today we are going to be ripping a hard copy of Battlefield 3. Now normally the only reason I rip games is to either eyes on them or etc like that but uh, I've noticed on a lot of my other games right there the uh, games start to crack and um, so I've got the USP Pro V2 and I've got a standard drive and uh, Using Xbox 360 backup creator, we're going to back uh, disc 2 up. I've already completed disc 1, but so you're going to have this on, off, we're going to have it so it's red. Uh, eject. We're going to eject the uh, drive. Uh, I'd like to say one, a couple of things. Um, Software we're going to be using is obviously Xbox backup creator and ABG X360, or however you want to pronounce that. So, uh, eject, or reject, or whatever, open up Xbox, backup creator, have all that sh stuff set. Um, another thing I'd like to point out, if you're using an older version of Xbox backup creator, uh, this will not work, because, for one, you have to have the USB Pro V2, doesn't matter if you have stock, drive or 0800 firmware drive, but uh, you have to have Xbox Battle Creator 2.9 build 0 for 21. Uh, I'll put that uh, in the link in the description. So I'm going to go over options, get the write speed is 12, that's pretty good. You don't need to go, that's the highest the drive can take, so uh, that's what we'll use. Uh, so I press start. And it'll ask me where I want to save my drive. And I have already made a file. I suggest making a file on your desktop because the last time I tried to do this, some things went wrong. So you make another file for the game. So that's disk two. So I'm gonna use that file. So everything from that that disk goes to that file. So we're gonna name it Battlefield Disk. Save and now it's going to go um, start writing, and then we'll come back uh, when that's finished. Okay guys, we are back. Uh, the rip is complete. As you can see, the disk 1 and disk 2, the ISO file and the disk image. So uh, we're going to minimize that and we're going to pull up Xbox AVG 360. What we're going to do, we're going to go to settings. And we're gonna go to split vid, and we're gonna go to add if it doesn't exist. Rebuild, auto fix, level three, leave that all the same. Uh, and then we're going to select our file. And normally, I'll launch it, and if you didn't have that selected, see that, the red right there, that'll fix it. And uh, once that's done, it'll be complete. Normally, I like to run it twice, just for the hell of it, to be safe. Um, you don't have to. It's only if you really want to. So, uh, 
Once that's done, I'll run it through again and I'll show you that it's perfectly fine. But uh, once that's run, we can actually eject the game since it's completely done. Perfect. Okay, I'll let that finish and uh, then I'll be back. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to press, if there's any key I'll press the space bar, and uh, I'll run it again and it'll show <coughs> everything's green, so it'll run again and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's done. I'm gonna press any key. So, um, basically, now you've successfully ripped and patched a Xbox 360 game. Uh, so, um, yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe.